Hello and welcome to PowerWiz Visuals for Power BI. In this guide, we'll walk you through the advanced features of PowerWiz Word Cloud Visual, which is a powerful visualization tool designed to help you analyze and visualize text data in Microsoft Power BI. The Word Cloud is a visualization technique commonly used to analyze keywords, freeform text, and speeches. It utilizes the color and size to represent the importance of a tag. PowerWiz Word Cloud stands out as one of the most advanced Word Cloud visualizations available, offering a range of features for customization, including shapes, ranking, excluding words, numbers, characters, and also the conditional formatting. If you haven't subscribed to our TrueWiz channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get updates on our latest visuals and features. Without any further delay, let's dive right into exploring the Word Cloud Visual. So first of all, let me show you how to import the Word Cloud Visual. You can click on these ellipses over here and select Get More Visuals. This will take you to the App Source Visuals wherein you can search for our visual by typing in Word Cloud. And this is the visual that we will have to select and then click on Add to add this particular visual to your Power BI report. Once the visual has been imported, you receive this message which says import successful. Let's click on OK. And now we can see that our visual has been imported. Let's click on this particular visual over here and add this to our canvas. So I have the sample data set over here of the video game sales. So let me quickly bring in the name into the category section over here. So what you see over here is basically the frequency of words present in that particular column. Now when you look at this particular visual, you might notice that you don't really have a lot of meaningful information coming out of this visual right now. But wait until we get into the advanced settings so that we can clean up our data and make it more insightful. So let's head over to the advanced settings now. Let me show you the different options that are available over here. Let's first take a look at the word options that are available here. You can choose the different font family. If you want to display all the words in uppercase, you can do that. You can also choose the styling here. You also have an option for auto text size, auto character count, and then there's an option here which will split your words. So by default, the split words by is comma and space. And if you would want to change that based on your data sets and requirements, you can do that from this particular section. Now let's head over to the next section, which is the direction section. Here you'll be able to choose the direction of the text that is appearing. The default direction here is horizontal. If you would like to have random or vertical, horizontal, diagonal, vertical, you can choose different options that are available over here let's go ahead with random for now and let's click on apply to see how things change over here and then let's head over to the shapes now this is one of the important feature of this particular visual where you'll be able to choose the shape that you want to display the text in for example I can choose a circle over here and then click on apply all of my text will be shown within that particular circle. There are other options available here as well, like you can have an image, you can choose, for example, if you want to display it within this particular image, you can choose that particular image and click on apply and all of the text will appear within that particular image. There's also an option where you can upload your own image. Now make sure that this particular image is in black and white only. Now let's go to the next section which is colors. There are various color palettes that are available for you to choose from. You can either apply the Power BI theme to this particular visual. You can also choose to have a gradient wherein your minimum and maximum frequency words will be highlighted in different colors. So when I click on apply over here, you see that the minimum frequency words are highlighted in red whereas the high frequency words are highlighted here in the blue. Now let's go to the next section here which is ranking wherein I can rank the words here based on the top N and bottom N. By default the count here is 500. So let's reduce this to 100 words over here and then click on apply. Now I'm able to only see the top 100 words that are present in that particular column. Now let's head to the next section here which is the exclude and this is one of the most important feature of this visual. The PowerWiz Word Cloud visual goes beyond removing words. It enables you to exclude special characters, emojis, numbers, 
and also conjunctions with just a single click now so let's quickly select numbers over here let's also select emojis if there are any emojis present in that particular column they will be excluded i also don't need to have punctuations and conjunctions in this case i'm gonna click on apply now that we have excluded all of these options over here our visual is slightly looking better but we are not there yet Let's explore more options that are available over here. Let's turn on the special characters. For example, I can type in my special characters that I can see on this particular visual. For example, I can see an ampersand over here. I can type in ampersand here followed by a comma and then I can enter another special character if I would like to exclude any. For example, let me just enter a hash over here and then click on apply. And now you can see that the ampersand is no longer appearing over here. Let's go back to exclude over here. There's also an option where you can exclude some of the words for example I don't want to display the word no over here because it does not really make sense so I'm gonna type in no over here followed by a comma let's also look at another word for example all I don't want to have the word all over here I want to exclude the word all now I would also like to exclude the word game and games now instead of typing them twice over here game and games I can also pass as a wildcard for example i can simply type in game over here followed by an asterisk which will basically exclude any word that contains the letters game over here i'm gonna click on apply now as you can see over here we have removed the word game and games together now what you see on the screen is only the number of times or the frequency of these words that are appearing in that text column and I can still not make any sense of what I see here on the screen so let's make this more meaningful I would like to analyze this by the sales amount so I have another section over here which says measure and I can bring in my global sales into my measure section over here and now I will be able to look at the games that have sold the most versus the games which have sold less. I am now able to analyze the words based on the sales amount and it is now starting to make little more sense here when you look at this visual when you can see Mario over here you can see duty call duty over here which is split into two different words there's still something missing so basically Super Mario is one word but it is split into two because in the word options that we saw earlier we've selected comma and space we also have that ability to control how you want to display these words so I can choose to not split these words by anything I can select none over here and then click on apply so when I do that you can see that it has now started to make more sense where I'm able to very clearly see that Madden NFL is the most sold game in this data set now let's head over to the next section which is conditional formatting wherein you'll be able to add a rule to highlight highlight the text values based on either a measure or by category let's quickly give it a name to this particular rule over here I'm gonna call this as highlight and the next option here is to whether you want to apply that particular conditional formatting to a measure or to a category now let's go ahead with measure as an example I'm gonna choose the sum of global sales measure that I have added in my measure section and then I can say for example I want to highlight anything that is greater than the value of 50 and I want to highlight this in let's say in green color I'm gonna click on apply and click on save and now you can see that all of the values that have anything more than 50 have been highlighted in green now let's head over to the last option that is available under advanced settings which is show condition I would like to show this visual only when the user has selected a value from a particular slicer so I'm gonna create a new measure over here I'm gonna call this as show I'm gonna pass in an if statement over here to check if my column has been filtered in this case I'm going to use the field genre over here I'm gonna close the bracket here and followed by a comma and say if this is filtered then return 1 else return a 0 I'm gonna close the bracket here and confirm and then I'm going to bring in the measure that I've created into the show section once this is done over here I'm gonna go back to my advanced settings over here and then go to show condition and now I can enable this particular condition I can choose the field here which is show I can have a custom message which says please choose a value from the genre slicer and then I'm gonna click on apply over here 
I can now see the custom message that we added over here. So let me quickly add the slicer to this particular report over here and change this to slicer. And when I select any value over here, I will now be able to display the word cloud visual. Now let me show you the next feature which is the lasso tool. With the help of lasso tool you'll be able to highlight a range of words which are appearing in your word cloud visual. For example let's say I, I would want to highlight these texts over here. The words that I selected will get highlighted on the word cloud visual and get filtered on the other visuals that you have on your Power BI report. I can also choose the reverse of it. I can choose the reverse lasso. When I choose this, these options over here, I'm going to exclude that and choose rest of the words that are being displayed on the word cloud visual. There's also an option where you can hold down control and select multiple values or you can just click on one of the word over here to be able to filter just that particular game. And now when I select FIFA Soccer over here, I'm able to see the different versions of FIFA Soccer that are available. Now this was possible only because of using the advanced feature where we excluded numbers from our text value. There's also an option here which says grid view where you'll be able to see the data in a tabular format. With this, we've now come towards the end of this guide. I hope you have now mastered the key features of PowerWiz Word Cloud Visual. Feel free to experiment with different settings and unleash the full potential of this advanced Word Cloud visualization in your Power BI reports. Until then, happy analyzing.